Jesus does say, I submit to your will. But what do you have to say to the fact that Jesus also says, I and the Father are the same. I and the Father's will are the same. So if the will of Jesus and the Father are the same, and you have the hypostatic union. Where does it say that, if you don't mind? John 10.30. In the John 10.30, it doesn't say same, it says one. Yes, one, the one. same. No, no, no. The, the, the scripture is, should be taken, the word as it says in there. John the 10.30. The Greek word, though, can be taken in both ways. So, that is the problem. Right. So do we find a translation? If I go to a translation now, Bible Hub, I can find the word, it's translated as the same, right? Most will say one because it uses no, 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 no. mon. Would I, would I find a translation which says same? No, but one Why implies not? same. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do you know better than the translators? No. Right. But so the, one implies okay. same. My friend, Alan, yeah. if the translators, your translators, not mine, translated this word as one, that means they know something in the context that this means one, right? So, this means one, same, as you said, your word, God. Have you read whole of John? Yes. Right. Okay, so you remember what I'm about to say. So he said, just as I am the Father, one, and you mean one God, so let's put this word right there in that passage, just as I am the Father, one God, remember this is my addition from your interpretation. Jesus says, just as I am the Father, one God, you too, my disciples, and all the believers will be one God. My, no. my addition, based on your interpretation. This is what he said. Without interpretation, it goes like this. Just as, I'm, just as I and the Father are one, I pray that you will also be one with us. Now, the way a sensible person understands both of these passages, Jesus links both these passages. He says, in the second passage in John, referring to the first one, first kind of unity, and he says, exactly, just as I and the Father are one, the way I told you before, the oneness that I'm referring to now is the same for you. So, if that oneness refers to one in divinity being God, all the disciples are God and now you're a Mormon. But if it doesn't mean, if it doesn't mean one God in divinity, it means I and the Father are one mean one in purpose. As he explains throughout, when they're trying to stone him, he says, "What for what good works are you trying to do that? That means what he's doing in the name of God, he's one in purpose, then this passage, second passage, makes sense. All the disciples will be one in the purpose. Yep. So this is my understanding of the scripture. Of course, if you were to follow your understanding, it makes you God, it makes him God, it makes all the Christian nonsense. believers God. You right. Wait, but let me... Let me, let me. Talking okay. nonsense. Oh, do you want to respond to that? Okay. Yeah, and then we'll I go do. to the next verse. Let's disregard your translation and mine. Yeah. Let's, let's look to the Jews' translation. Why'd they kill Jesus? Because they didn't like him. No, because he committed blasphemy by calling himself God. Uh, not really. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, this uh, is historically. No. Historically. So this is where Jesus refutes you. No. When they said that you are blaspheming, Jesus had the opportunity to respond. He did. Now tell me how he responded. They take him into court. They say you have blasphemed. Jesus then doesn't speak. But where can I read this? Why doesn't he speak? The reason is because the prophet Isaiah says that the lamb would not speak. Sorry, Alan. He says that he was the I apologize. Silent. I apologize for interrupting. I interrupt him. I, I really apologize okay. yeah, because you've know, been yeah. a very gentle. It's okay. I would like where Jesus responds because in the New Testament... I don't know exactly. I, don't, I can tell you, I can remind you. Okay. Because in the cases where accusation is made against him, he responded to these allegations and responded them. And not only that, he refuted them. Let me remind you one of them. Okay. He said, isn't it written in your law that ye are called gods and the scripture cannot be broken? I, I only said I am Ben Elion. So here, he totally silenced them. Do you know how he did that? He said, look, I know your scripture because you can't hide them anymore. The scripture can never be broken. What is he referring to? Psalms 82, verse 6, in which God says to ordinary human beings who are judges, you are gods, sons of the Most High. But of course, he later tells them, you will die like men. So God calls other people as Elohim, God. Let me, let me make okay. my statement. I and see you'll where see. you're going. Now, Jesus said, I didn't even say that, but I only said, I am Ben Elion. You know what Ben Elion is, your name is? Are you speaking to someone who's called Ben Elion? Ben is the son of Elion. Elion means a name of God, the strong, mighty God, whatever you want to call him. So Jesus only said, I am a son of God, but I didn't call myself God. So even calling someone God is not a blasphemy. And he said, I didn't even say 
that. I say something lower than that, son of God. And to him, as you realize throughout the entire ministry, he identifies what does it mean by the son of God. You are the son of God. Adam is the son of God. All the righteous people are called the sons of God, the children of God. So he refuted them single-handedly in that accusation, accusation they made. So Jesus, that's one point. And second point I want to make is this. We don't take someone's identity of or what they said based on the accusers. Because people accuse. People can accuse and make accusation against you like you're a terrorist, for example. But doesn't make you a terrorist because some guy called you a terrorist. Yeah. yeah? The Jewish people calls Jesus a demon-possessed mad individual. You should know that. Do Christians accept that accusation? They don't. So now you see the inconsistency. They take whatever it suits them. Oh, Jews accuse them of blasphemy, so Jesus must have said it. True. And yet, when the same people accuse him of being a demon-possessed, they say, no, we don't accept that. You need to be consistent throughout.